Hey folks, we're live tonight in McAllen's Fireman's Park where it's another warm day and you know we talk about the record heat over the last few months and it's not so much that any one day has been you know shattering records but just every day has been above normal and you add a bunch of above normal days together and you end up with an above normal month and, and by quite a lot and not just March but take a look back the last three months have all been above average in fact they've set records six of the last seven months have set records and these numbers are from McAllen the average temperatures there you see them but the rest of the valley is similar maybe not setting a record every month but close every month has been well above normal all across the valley so just this heat continues and we don't see it really changing dramatically anytime soon we see a little bit of a cool down at the end of next week but not much look at february 10 and a half degrees above normal march five and a half degrees above normal back in january even then we were 6.9 above and at uh, the end of last year it was the same kind of story so we just continue to stay well above the seasonal norms and again we don't see any change coming anytime soon let's look at the current see where we are right now and the latest temperatures across the valley look like this 88 here in McAllen 85 in Harlingen 82 in Port Isabel at this hour the humidity is starting to come back up it's still not bad uh, it's in the upper 50s in most areas right now so you put that on the muggy meter we got 59 on the muggy meter so uh, you notice that that's you know, getting up close to the muggy range, but not quite. Yesterday, the dew points were down in the 40s, so they're starting to come back up, but it's a slow process. Now, wind has been the other story today. It's been very, very windy. Look at the gust just this last hour here in McAllen, 35 miles an hour. That's a pretty strong wind gust for a March afternoon. March is going out like a lion, that's for sure. 28 mile per hour gust in Port Isabel, same thing in Brownsville, 32 across a lot of the valley, so it's a gusty afternoon across the region. The next few days we do see warm temperatures, but we also see some subtle changes. We're at 88 tomorrow, up to 95 on Sunday. The record's 98. We'll be close. In fact, it could be hotter than 95, especially in the western part of the valley. And then Monday, still above average. So again, another string of above average days, probably not setting any records individually, but collectively it makes for more record heat across the region. As far as rain chances go, we do see a chance a slight tomorrow, but then tomorrow night into Monday, there's that chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Uh, not tomorrow night, but Sunday night into Monday. Chance for a shower or thunderstorm as another front comes through. We're only at 20%, but that chance is there. At least there's a possibility uh, in that forecast. So let's watch Future Track and see what's going on across the region. Tonight, it's quiet, it's breezy, it's mild. It's not cool necessarily, warmer than the last couple of nights, but mild. And then tomorrow, that southeast wind continues. And look at the cloud. Clouds really thicken up. And that's why I think there could be an isolated shower tomorrow, but that won't be the flavor of the day. I think you're looking at more clouds and sunshine probably, a lot more clouds than today. And with that southeast breeze, humidity will begin to climb. You go into Sunday, a lot of clouds again. I think we see some sunshine too, but look Sunday night into Monday. That's when we see the chance for a thunderstorm coming through the valley, especially as that front works its way in. Look how Future Track shows some pretty good activity near the valley. Most of it's north of us, but an isolated shower or thunderstorm is possible here as well as that front pushes on through, and then we finally dry out again for early next week. We want to jump right to the forecast then and see what we have for you for tonight across the area. Skies, uh, you can see the risk of severe weather. It's mainly to the north. For tonight, 71 for a low, breezy, more humid. Clouds thicken up overnight. Southeasterly winds diminish a little, but still 12 to 22. Tomorrow night is windy as today and probably more clouds than today. Your high temperature tomorrow should be right around 88 degrees. Here's a look at the next seven days now and we keep it warm, but notice the next front on Wednesday. Look what happens behind that. Daytime highs drop quite a bit. It looks like actually a push of cool air. We might have one, count them one, day below average out of the next seven. It could be next Thursday. Could be a little cooler. Notice nighttime lows dropping into the upper 50s, daytime highs in the low 80s, but at least a little bit of a cool down for one day next week. That's not going to take us out of any record setting heat waves, though. It looks like that will continue for a while. And for the most part, we're dry with that slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm, especially late Sunday into early Monday. Nice day in the park. A lot of families out here. Folks are feeding the ducks. People are fishing. Great day to be out in the park. Again, just count on a little bit of wind being with us through the evening. That's the latest live from Fireman's Park in McAllen. Tim Smith, Channel 5 News at 6.